Not every place of worship plans on adapting to the governor's new rules. Tonight, some say they'll flat out ignore it. New tonight, CBS 13's Ryan Hill with the Sunday Showdown. Thousands won't be sitting in church pews this weekend. The governor ordered churches to close again in 29 counties on the state monitoring list. But one church in our area, Destiny Christian Church in Rockland, is making it public that they're keeping their doors open. Destiny's pastor declined to speak with me today, but in a video posted on the church's Facebook, Pastor Greg Farrington says the government data isn't factual and he won't shut down the church. The church is also asking people to reserve seats for the upcoming mass. This is one of the many churches in California saying they aren't going to toe the line. Robert Tyler's firm was co-counsel on a lawsuit for a Lodi church to stay open during the first closures. He says other churches and pastors he's spoken to aren't closing this time around. And so many of them are saying we're going to follow the calling that we've been led uh, to by God and we're going to fulfill that mission. And if that means violating the governor's orders, it's what we have to do. Tyler tells me many pastors are balancing the risk of the virus and the needs of the congregation with defying the most recent closure. We've committed to defending them should the government attempt to shut them down uh, or arrest the pastor or cite them. While some churches say they will defy the state's closure, others are closing their doors and taking their message outside. We'll have a wide area here where I'm standing. You can probably see behind me. The cars, of course, will be gone. And we will set up a nice altar, and people will have lots of space and social distancing. The Diocese of Sacramento is encouraging outdoor mass if churches can pull it off safely and within the state guidelines. The playground from our little school. So our plan is to prepare an altar in that area and to have the people sitting in all this area that you could see later on. Many walking their own paths all hoping for the pandemic to be over. The state would not tell us how they plan on enforcing the new rules at churches, but those who violate the order are subject to a misdemeanor and a fine.